Hello lovelies, welcome back again to Dubsy's Delight. On today's menu is tilapia soup. This soup has been a highly requested recipe by so many of you and I want to give the biggest shout out to Susanna Main. This lady has been of great support and she was the first to request for this recipe and I said why not, I have to make it for her. She watches all my videos, leaves nice comments and even when I go on other people's channel to leave a comment, she leaves a comment on my comment. <laughs> I love you Susie and I finally brought this recipe to you and I'm making this especially because of you so no time to waste let's get straight into it for this you need some tilapia which has been nicely washed and cleaned I've taken off all the scales as well as the gills from the gill area you also need some anise seeds known as inkitinkiti black peppercorns known as esurisa some salt I'm using some vegetable seasoning as well as well as one stock cube. I've also got some ginger, garlic, yellow onion, one habanero pepper and a quartered green and yellow bell peppers. This is optional and you can take out and add any of the ingredients as preferred. Now I'll blend all these together to marinate the fish. So to marinate the fish, I'll season it with some salt my vegetable seasoning and half of my shrimp cube which half will go into the soup later I will marinate this overnight to enhance the flavors if you do not have time you can marinate it for one to two hours and it will be good but I do it overnight just so I can get the most out of the flavors I'm sure you'll be wondering why I added green and yellow bell peppers. This is to enhance the taste of your soup and fish. It is totally optional but do try it and you understand why I use it for my tilapia soup. I'll transfer my fish to a smaller container just to help fit the fridge, cover it with a clean film and set it in the fridge overnight as mentioned before. Now let's go through the list of ingredients for the soup. As I always mention, you can find it in the description box with the exact quantities. So for the soup, you will need some tolo beef. If you haven't seen this recipe, I've linked it above. You can also find it in the description box. It is salted, so I always soak it for an hour before I use it. I've also got some tomato puree, some salt, half of the shrimp seasoning I used for seasoning the fish, some coconut oil, some fresh tomatoes, some yellow onions, one habanero pepper, and a little bit of ginger. There is ginger already in the fish as well as the pepper, so I'm using just a little. If you do not like it as I do, please do not add any extra pepper, okay? <laughs> The first thing I'll do is to strain the water from the tulip beef, wash it with a clean water and transfer it to my pot which I'll be using for the soup. I'll then chop one medium sized onion into very tiny bits just to kick start the soup and give us that taste desired. I'll then add my chopped onions to my tulo beef, set it on fire and add my coconut oil and tomato puree. I'll then fry this on medium low heat for about a minute, cover it and allow it to simmer through until all the juices is dried out from the pot. The reason why I use coconut oil is to aid frying the tulo beef as well as help extract all the juices out of the tulo beef to cook the soup at this point as we do not want to add any water and this will help maintain the flavors right from the beginning of the soup and we all know that coconut oil is healthy and flavor packed so it's just a win-win situation for all of us isn't it <laughs> 
after about a total of 10 to 15 minutes of frying and intermittent stirring our soup is cooking beautifully it's almost like stew but we don't want to make stew here but that's it. that is what you want to see the oils have settled on top i will add the rest of the shrimp seasoning stir it to combine and now add loads and loads and loads of water and the aroma is just amazing at this point i told my husband that tolo beef stew is going to be really really nice and that is something i'm going to bring your way here so stay tuned trust me the aroma was just heavenly at this point i'll add the rest of the tomatoes that's the fresh tomatoes the rest of the onions my ginger habanero pepper cover it partially and bring it to a boil so our soup has been boiling for about 10 minutes now and just look at that size it's just amazing <laughs> i'll take out all the vegetables i added which is my tomatoes onions pepper and ginger be very careful when taking it out because you do not want to squash it we want our soup to be as smooth as possible i'll then blend it all together to a smooth paste and add it back to the soup if you do not like any bits in there you can strain it with a strainer but i don't mind and my blender is quite a powerful one so it blends it to the very smooth paste as i desire I'll rinse out the remainder in the blender and add it to the soup as I don't want any to go to waste at all. I love my tilapia soup very light. If you do not like it very light, be careful of the amount of water you use, but this is perfect for me. I'll cover it again and bring it to a boil on medium high heat. After another 10 minutes, it's time to add our tilapia which has marinated beautifully and I'm very sure it will taste amazing. I'll add it to the soup gently as I do not want to tear it apart, neither do I want it to splash, less hurt myself. I'll add the rest of the marinade as well as the juices that has been extracted from the fish to the soup and this will give it extra flavor <laughs> the reason why I do not add the fish right from the onset is because it's going to tear apart and adding it at the later stage of the soup ensures your fish is intact and you get to enjoy your fish after another six minutes I'll give it a little jiggle taste for salt and adjust this as needed partially cover it turn the heat to very very low heat and allow it to simmer through so that the juices of the fish will be released and cook until the end and this is the end result this is where the soup was before the level where the soup was before and this is how much it has reduced in size and it looks amazing it smells very good and the fish is intact we get to enjoy it as we prefer and we got to enjoy this with some homemade fufu from scratch if you haven't seen the recipe click on the link above for it and yes when i'm scooping the soup i don't scoop it with the oil i will skim off the oil later but i try to push away the oil with a ladle and get just soup and we are going to enjoy this so 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 much and it tastes so so good this is definitely a must try if you're still here thank you so much for watching please do well to subscribe like comment and share thank you so so much for watching and if you do recreate this recipe especially you Susie <laughs> don't forget to tag us on your Instagram status at Debsy's Delight if you haven't subscribed please make it a point to subscribe join the family grow as well as it's a way of supporting my channel leave a nice comment a big thumbs up and please share so that others will be blessed with this recipe until we meet again this is Debsy's delight i love you all but god loves you the most bye for now